<laughs> my fingers bleeding. Well, what's up, YouTube? Gonna see how that works. So today, I'm doing a ball review on the new hammer effect, which just came out today. Um, specs on it. We got high performance. Just so you know. Okay. Anyway, it's got a hunts the new Huntsman core, and it's got a HK22 Cohesion Pearl. Um, sanded to 1500 and at 15 pounds your RG is 2.47 your diff is 0 0.05 and your asymmetric is 0 0.017 the ball smells like orange peel very good sign we love that um, I'm going to throw some shots with it and I'm comparing it to a Black Widow 3.0 because that was the other thing I had in my bag and a Venom Shock but 3.0 is more comparable because they both have a HK22 and the core type is kind of the same because uh, if you didn't know the Huntsman core is a gas mask core and a vibe core combined and you get a big core so here's a picture of the core right here if you were wondering and yeah and Cat wants to say hi Say hi to the one, kitty. Alright. Let you go do whatever you want to do. Alright, and I will tell you guys what I think after the shot. So, yeah. Okay, to start out, I started standing around 25, throwing it out to 3, and then my break point was around 5. Pretty good here. Then I tried getting it out a little bit sooner, and it turned the corner really quick. An overhook, leaving the split. This shot I stood three more left, got out to the same point at the break point and struck. On this shot, I stood in the same spot and tried giving it a little bit more hand and it overhooked, leaving the 3610. On this shot I stepped two more left, trying to give it more hand. And it overhooked again. This ball sees friction and it wants to go. Not a bad thing at all, but I stepped two more left and threw it a little bit harder and it went into the pocket perfectly. Now I'm using the Black Widow in the same spot and it grabbed in the middle of the lane and didn't even try to get out to the break point. Again that aggression solid really wants to pick up quite early so I kept staying in the middle of the lane and then overhooking. This shot, I gave it a little bit more speed and got it out to the break point more deliberately so it had time to grab it a right spot. And then lastly, tried giving it a little loft. Um, didn't really work because it got out to the dry and then picked up even more aggressively. Now time for the Venom Shock. I threw this one, it was a lot smoother than the Black Widow but didn't have the amount of boards covered as the effect or as strong back end. So after throwing it, uh, my opinions are really high. I really like this ball. It is very controllable, very snappy down lane, which is a good thing compared to other things, I guess. Compared to my Black Widow, it goes longer. Kind of the same amount of boards covered, but this will overall be a little bit stronger in the back end because of the pro cover stock instead of the aggression cover stock. And apparently, this ball is the first ball to ever be poured in four, let's see, in four um, colors, from what I'm seeing. And it is gorgeous. The, uh, the website says that, so I definitely give it that. So I would definitely recommend getting one. Only problem is the price point. It is a pretty pricey ball, but that doesn't mean it's not a good ball at all. It is a very good ball for the price. So. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. hope you can buy your next bowling ball and make a good purchase. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.